हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू इस एकेडमी इन दिस लेक्चर लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड द प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ डिस्क्रीट टाइम फोरियर ट्रांसफॉर्म हियर लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड डिफरेंशिएशन इन फ्रीक्वेंसी डोमेन प्रॉपर्टी इट स्टेट्स दैट इफ एक्स ऑफ एन फॉर दिस इफ यू परफॉर्म डीटी ऑफ टी विल ऑप्टेन एक्स ऑफ ओमेगा देन If we take minus j n x of n, for this if we perform d t of t, we'll obtain d by d omega x of omega. Let us prove this proof. So, from the definition of d t of t, we can write x of omega is equal to summation of n is equal to minus infinity to infinity. x of n exponential to the power of minus j omega n now let us differentiate both sides with respect to omega therefore we can write d by d omega x of omega is equal to d by d omega summation of n is equal to minus infinity to infinity x of n exponential to the power of minus j omega n now let us change the order of summation and differentiation therefore we can write d by d omega x of omega is equal to summation of n is equal to minus infinity to infinity x of n d by d omega of exponential to the power of minus j omega n so we can write the above equation as summation of n is equal to minus infinity to infinity x of n so if we differentiate this exponential term we will obtain minus j n exponential to the power of minus j omega n let us write the above equation as summation of n is equal to minus infinity to infinity i will write minus j n first then x of n into exponential to the power of minus j omega n which is nothing but d by d omega x of omega now if we compare this equation with standard equation of dt of t we can say that for x of n if you perform discrete time fourier transform we will obtain x of omega in the same way for minus j n x of n if we perform discrete time fourier transform we will obtain d by d omega x of omega so we can write for minus j n x of n if you perform dt of t so we will obtain d by d omega x of omega so this is the proof now let us see the time reversal property time reversal property states that if for x of n if we perform dt of t we will obtain x of omega then if we take y of n which is equal to x of minus n for this if we perform dt of t we will obtain y of omega which is equal to x of minus omega now let us see the proof by definition of dt of t we can write y of omega is equal to summation of n is equal to minus infinity to infinity y of n exponential to the power of minus j omega n now in place of y of n let us replace x of minus n therefore we can write the above equation as summation of n is equal to minus infinity to infinity x of minus n exponential to the power of minus j omega n now in the above equation let us put minus n is equal to m so from this we can say n will be equal to minus m if we substitute this in above equation we will get y of omega is equal to summation of m is equal to minus infinity to infinity x of m exponential to the power of minus j omega minus m so we can write the above equation as summation of m is equal to minus infinity to infinity x of m exponential to the power of minus j we can write omega as minus omega into m 
Now, if you compare this equation with the standard expression, in this standard expression, here we are having omega as positive, that is why we will get y of omega. In this expression, we are having omega as negative value, that is why we will get the above equation as x of minus omega, so which is nothing but y of omega. This is the proof. Now, let us understand convolution property. It states that if x of n, for this if we perform dt of t, we will obtain x of omega and y of n, for this if we perform dt of t, we will obtain y of omega. Then, if we take z of n, that is equal to x of n convoluted with y of n. For this, if we perform dt of t, we should obtain z of omega that is equal to x of omega into y of omega. So, here we are discussing about convolution property which states that if we take convolution in time domain, we should get multiplication in frequency domain. Let us prove this proof by the definition of dt of t we can write z of omega is equal to summation of n is equal to minus infinity to infinity z of n exponential to the power of minus j omega n. Now, in place of z of n, let us substitute x of n convoluted with y of n. So, we will get the above equation as summation of n is equal to minus infinity to infinity x of n convoluted with y of n into exponential to the power of minus j omega n. We know x of n convoluted with y of n, we can write it as summation of k is equal to minus infinity to infinity x of k y of n minus k. Now, let us substitute this term in above equation, we will get z of omega is equal to summation of n is equal to minus infinity to infinity. So, if we substitute the above term, we will get summation of k is equal to minus infinity to infinity x of k y of n minus k exponential to the power of minus j omega n. Now, let us change the order of summation. Therefore, we can write z of omega is equal to summation of k is equal to minus infinity to infinity. Let us write x of k first, then let us write summation of n is equal to minus infinity to infinity y of n minus k exponential to the power of minus j omega n. In the above equation, let us put n minus k is equal to m. So, from this we can say n can be written as m plus k. So, if we substitute this term in the above equation, we can write z of omega is equal to summation of k is equal to minus infinity to infinity x of k summation of m is equal to minus infinity to infinity y of m exponential to the power of minus j omega m plus k. Therefore, we can write the above equation as z of omega is equal to summation of k is equal to minus infinity to infinity x of k summation of m is equal to minus infinity to infinity y of m. So, if we split this exponential term and write, we can write it as exponential to the power of minus j omega m into exponential to the power of minus j omega k. Now, let us rearrange the above equation and write. We can write the above equation as summation of k is equal to minus infinity to infinity x of k exponential to the power of minus j omega k. Then let us write summation of m is equal to minus infinity to infinity y of m exponential to the power of minus j omega m. So, here the first term we can write it as x of omega if we compare this with the standard expression and the second term we can write it as y of omega if we compare this with the standard expression of dt of t. Therefore, we can write 
z of omega is equal to x of omega into y of omega. So, this is the proof. Now, let us understand the next property which is multiplication in time domain. It states that if x of n for this if we perform dtft will obtain x of omega and y of n for this if we perform dtft will obtain y of omega then if we take z of n that is equal to x of n into y of n so for this if we perform dtft we should obtain z of omega that will be equal to 1 by 2 pi into x of omega convoluted with y of omega. So, here since it is multiplication in time domain, we will get convolution in frequency domain. Let us prove this proof. From the definition of DTFT, we can write z of omega is equal to summation of n is equal to minus infinity to infinity z of n exponential to the power of minus j omega n. Now, in place of z of n, let us put x of n into y of n. Therefore, we can write the above equation as z of omega is equal to summation of n is equal to minus infinity to infinity x of n into y of n multiplied with exponential to the power of minus j omega n. Let us take this as equation number 1. From inverse discrete time Fourier transform, we can write x of n is equal to 1 by 2 pi integration of minus pi to pi x of lambda exponential to the power of j lambda n d lambda. So, here we are taking some different frequency variable as lambda. If we put this expression in equation number 1, so we will get equation 1 as z of omega is equal to summation of n is equal to minus infinity to infinity 1 by 2 pi integration of minus pi to pi x of lambda exponential to the power of j lambda n d lambda into y of n exponential to the power of minus j omega n. Now, let us interchange the order of summation and integration. Therefore, we can write z of omega is equal to let us write 1 by 2 pi first then let us write integration minus pi to pi x of lambda then let us write summation of n is equal to minus infinity to infinity y of n exponential to the power of j lambda n into exponential to the power of minus j omega n d lambda. So, these two exponential term which is multiplication if we combine these two exponential term we can write the above expression as z of omega is equal to 1 by 2 pi integration of minus pi to pi x of lambda summation of n is equal to minus infinity to infinity y of n exponential to the power of minus j of omega minus lambda n d lambda. So, if we group these terms, these terms we can write it as y of omega minus lambda. So, therefore, we can write the above expression as 1 by 2 pi integration of minus pi to pi x of lambda into y of omega minus lambda d lambda. If you consider this term, this is nothing but the formula for convolution. Therefore, we can write z of omega is equal to 1 by 2 pi into x of omega convoluted with y of omega. So, this is the proof. 
Now let us understand Parseval's theorem. It states that if x of n for this if we perform dt of t will obtain x of omega then energy of the signal is given as e is equal to 1 by 2 pi integration of minus pi to pi magnitude of x of omega whole square d omega. Let us prove this. Proof. We know that energy of a signal can be given as e is equal to summation of n is equal to minus infinity to infinity magnitude of x of n whole square. Here magnitude of x of n whole square we can write it as x of n multiplied with x star of n. So here x star of n is complex conjugate of x of n. So let us substitute that value in above equation. So we will get e is equal to summation of n is equal to minus infinity to infinity x of n into x star of n. Using inverse discrete time for a transform we can write x star of n is equal to integration of minus pi to pi x star of omega exponential to the power of minus j omega n d omega. Now let us substitute this equation in the energy equation. Therefore we can write energy is equal to summation of n is equal to minus infinity to infinity x of n multiplied with 1 by 2 pi integration of minus pi to pi x star of omega exponential to the power of minus j omega n d omega. Now let us change the order of summation and integration. Therefore we can write energy signal as 1 divided by 2 pi integration of minus pi to pi. Let us write x star of omega first. Then let us multiply with summation of n is equal to minus infinity to infinity x of n exponential to the power of minus j omega n d omega. So this term we can write it as x of omega. Therefore we can write the above expression as e is equal to 1 by 2 pi integration of minus pi to pi x star of omega into x of omega. So we know that x star of omega into x of omega we can write it as magnitude of x of omega whole square. Therefore we can write energy is equal to 1 by 2 pi into integration of minus pi to pi magnitude of x of omega whole square. So this is the proof. So this is the expression for energy of a discrete time signal. So this is about the properties of DTFT. Hope you have understood the topic. Thank you.